Hi, welcome to Palace Pouts Perfumes and Panning and I'm here with a review on two new palettes and if you've seen the shorts for those palettes there are the Balm, the Balm and the Beautiful one and the Balm and the Beautiful two so I'm going to do I have done swatches I'm just going to briefly show the palettes because they are gorgeous palettes and I have used them today I've used one of them which was this one here and I found packaging is all paper which is great in my opinion no myrrh which is even better I like that idea of no myrrh and those are the colours that I've used today, which are fantastic on any colour of eyes, but particularly if you have um, brown eyes or any eyes with slight green flecks fle in your eyes that are green or gold, these particular colours are fabulous. So. The first colour they have is Cut and maybe it's just me but it kind of reminds me of the TV show the um, soap, the bold and the beautiful and that reminds me of Brooke and Ridge. So here we go we have Cut which is a beige then we have Green Screen that is gorgeous that one there Green Screen beautiful colour. Then we have Autograph, we have Makeup Artist which is a matte, then we have Roll Credits, I love that one down there, then Red Carpet, Chick Flick and Cliffhanger and anyone that watches The Bold and the Beautiful knows that there is always, 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 always a Cliffhanger at the end of the Show. And I haven't watched it in quite a while, but I believe there's a new ridge on it and there's a new tailor. And I really did like the original ridge and the original tailor, so that's a bit disappointing that they've left. So that is, I'm not sure if that's one or two. I'll leave it on the video. But the back has little grooves and um, I just think for traveling or for carrying around in a makeup bag anything like that they're very very practical and you don't even have to put it back into the sleeve of course the packaging is everything and it really is beautiful and as I said, it reminds me of Brooke and Ridge from the B and the V. So that is that one. Give you one more quick look. It just it just opens with cardboard. So gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So the second one. I was going to say it reminded me of Taylor and Ridge, but it doesn't because the girl is dark hair like Taylor, but unlike Ridge, I suppose it could be Nick Maroney. God knows who she's with these days on the B and the B. It's been so long since I've seen it, but it does look slightly like Nick. Of course, it could be Thorn. Um, we have Fog, we have Lombardo Street, we have Napa, Alcatraz, Silicon Valley, Golden Gate Bridge, Trolley Car and Heights Street. Yeah, this one is set in San Francisco. So obviously as we all know the bold and the beautiful is set in California. So I don't know why this one is San Francisco but those are the colours and there's matte fog 
Lombardo Street is Lombard Street is another mat. Napa is a mat. Alcatraz is a shimmer. Height Street is a sheeny shimmer. Trolley car is a mat. Golden Gate Bridge is a beautiful shimmery. It's almost jewel chrome. Beautiful. And then the um, Silicon Valley is a beautiful dark black. So those are the colours on that. Actually, when I seen the colours and the names on this one, it reminded me of Falcon Crest. So I was set around um, the winemaking country and near San Francisco. So that's what that one reminded me of. Not sure which is one and which is two, but those are the bombs, the bomb and the beautiful. And they are absolutely beautiful, in my opinion and very pigmented, very easy to work with, blend like a dream. The swatch nicely, but swatching, as we all know, isn't everything. Oops, sorry. And I forgot to show you the back of the packaging. There are the colors on that one. And say this is Taylor and her new bow, whoever that is at present. I'm not sure if her and Brooke are still fighting it out over Ridge. That's the other one. But as I was saying, um, Hunter Tylo and Ron Moss surely must be missed on that show because it just wouldn't be the same without them. I don't think no matter how good the actor or, or the actress would be, they could ever replace the original characters or the original actors so that's my the bam and the beautiful one and two and i hope you enjoyed watching and i may have a second video tonight because i haven't done one in a while as you can tell and until then